Peace. Love. The blessing, baby. You know you see me, boy. I got one for you, baby. You know I got one for you. We got that motherfucking, uh... We got that Super Lemon Haze number two from Lil Will Farm. What's your head like? Shit, we got that THC content coming in at 20, 20 20.70. No CBDs, but hey, she in that black bag. Anything in that black bag, you know what? It's like that Baltimore what? Hell on. I ain't never did it, boy. I know how them motherfuckers be waiting up in the morning for that shit. That's what, that's, that's, let me tell you some stuff. Listen, oh man, you know we, we family, right? So we, so family can talk about family, cause it's all love, you feel me? Man, when I, when I, when I was, my days, I seen people on that shit, man. Even my school, this was, I've been fortunate. I had to integrate with different cultures cause life told me, pushed me this way, that way, and I pushed myself this way. So one culture might have been weed, one culture might have been cold, one culture might be been heroin, I mean, So I was fortunate to see the, the bad sides of all that shit. That would made me not do none of that shit, none. Listen, I never did nothing. Listen, only thing I did, the worst drugs I ever did was in the penitentiary. I did syrup in the penitentiary, and what else? I did pill. I think I did some kind of pill that had my ass fucking falling the fuck out. And I'm like, man, mouth all dry. I'm like, what the fuck? They get out of this? I said, I never did that again. The syrup shit, I did that shit. And I, you know this, the music? It said bad. I was on I did that shit, man. What the fuck? I was like, I don't get nothing out of that shit. And what else was it? Oh, I was about to listen. The day before I was about to get out, I was about to do coke. I ain't gonna lie to you. And my nigga about to beat my head. This is my this is this true story. See, I tell you the real shit, ain't gonna pay attention story for everybody talking about the pay attention story. So I'm about to get out. This is day four I got next day I'm gone. I'm gone. So they get throw me a little thing, a little get you got you know how people do for you, you got to leave out. They all love, you know what I'm saying? Going home street, people I went to school with who still got like 30, 40 years when they built, right? So, somebody supplied the weed, somebody supplied the drink, somebody supplied the coke. I said, fuck, the hair on, I got that thing of hair on. I said, fuck that, give me some of that coke. So I go in my cell, right, I'm about to do it. And I cut the, and the only reason the only reason it took me so long, I cut the business signal. I said, I'm gonna listen to the business signal, uh, what's your life like? Cause I got that shit tattooed on my back, like my penitentiary stick. I said, I gotta listen to this before I go. So I'm going back out here. I don't know fuck what's going So I'm about to, I cut the music on to get it right. So I'm about to, then I go get in front of the mirror. I ain't never did this shit. But I seen motherfuckers do it in front of the mirror and all that shit. So I go in front of the mirror, I'm about to do this shit. Then my nigga come in the cell and knock this shit out of my hand. Woo! I'm like, what the fuck you do that for? I, I can call this nigga name, because it was all, it was, this, this, this was so much love, man. It changed the trajectory of my life, because he was right. Primo, my nigga Primo, man. He smacked that shit out of my hand. He said, what the fuck you doing, man? And he, he was a nigga who do this shit, right? He said, what the fuck you doing, man? He said, man, all this time you been locked up, all this time in your life, you ain't never did this shit, and you about to do this shit for you about to go out and speak. He's like, man, do you know what the fuck this would do to you? This what happened. He said, listen, man. Said, listen, man. He said, man, you going home. You got a chance. Look, I'm about to tell you the thing.
this was a dude, right, who only shot back in life was an appeal. So, he had to keep his nose clean or every sense. You know how it is, you, you fight the pill, you don't got they look at all that, the fractions and all that good shit, right? So, he dotted his eyes across the team. He was willing to lose all of that for me. Not to go out there like that. He was willing to fight me for me not to do that. How do you weigh love in that essence? You feel? Me? I'm quite sure everybody has been through certain circumstances when people show actions a bond, a, a bond above and beyond they self, where they where they they willing to jeopardize they self for you with no gain. You feel? Me? what I try to do with everything I do in life. That, that, that. That's why I believe the one they call Jesus Christ the Messiah was all about. People always call it this or call it that, but it all formulated from this one being, this one soul, right? Who was ostracized, criticized, talked about, who just tried to show a better way of life, you know? Who was loved one minute, crucified and criticized the next time. Which is like everyone's life. No matter who you are, one minute you can be loved, one minute you can be criticized, and next minute you're gonna be crucified. So that's the greatest Example of life itself. So when, when people always talk about the enlightenment, when they call it Jesus, Christ, that's what I think about. Cause everybody's gonna go through that. I don't care who you are. If you think you not, if you, you think you can go through life and not be ostracized, criticized, and crucified, you in for a hell of a ride. I don't give a fuck. You Mama Teresa. I don't give a fuck. You 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 you. You the, you the, you, the, you know what I'm saying? The queen, whoever. You're going to be ostracized. You're going to be criticized. And you're going to be crucified. No matter how much good you do. No matter, no matter how much bad you do. It's all the same. I know that's deep. I know it's hard for some people to have. I know some people can't take that. But hey, that's life. That's life. Every Messiah you ever think about went through that. Whether it's Buddha, Confucius, whether you were Scientology, whether you were Jesus Christ, whether you were Muslim, whether you Jehovah Witness, whether you whatever foundation you want to think of that was created by man, all your messiahs was what? Ostracized, criticized, and I can't say crucified, because the only one who really died for that for their cause was the Messiah called the Jesus Christ. So, I mean, the other people died a certain way, but they didn't, no one gave their life for that cause. Like, that one, you know? And I don't wanna go biblical and I don't wanna go too deep. I'm just, I'm just regurgitating what was given throughout centuries as testimonies and testimonies for those who was there, those who saw it, those who did the time and, and research to find out about it. And so, you can call it what you want. History speak for yourself. Men lie, women lie, but what? No one's not. Till next time, you know who it is. If you don't, you will. Peace.
Oh, that's a bad. It's my problem. So what you gonna do with it?